when I was a kid, I was a fan of Bruce Lee's movies. That's where I picked this up. 30 frames per second um, help catch the scene here. Um, but I can't do any other of Bruce Lee's thing, tricks. We finally got to talking about real Risk V instructions, and we're going to cover in the next few minutes the first two of them for addition and subtractions between the registers. So let's take a look at them. Generally, assembly instructions are, have a very rigid format. So arithmetic instructions and logic instructions always look um, follow the same rigid syntax. Um, one, space, two, comma, space, three, comma, space, four. For example, we have add x1, comma, x2, comma, x3. Where this one is the operation, the name of the operation, two is the destination, three is the first source, and four is the second source. The syntax is rigid, um, meaning that it really doesn't vary. Many, there are many instructions that follow exactly the same syntax because the hardware needs to be made simple. Remember, hardware is expected to decode these instructions and find out exactly what are we trying to do. And we want to make it help it by simplifying the format such that it doesn't have to look all over the place. It always finds the sources and destinations at the same place. Let's take a look um, a little bit deeper into how do we use addition and subtraction operations. For example, here is the addition in assembly, and the command is simple, add, A-D-D, easy to remember, can make a mistake that, that easily, add x1, x2, x3. This is equivalent to a C instruction, A equals to B plus C where um, the C variables correspond to the values stored in particular registers in the RISC-V processor. So A would be stored in the register X1, B is stored in the register X2, and C is stored in the register X3. Subtraction works almost the same, with one slight subtle difference, but just let's take a look at it. So sub Traction operation is sub, S-U-B, um, and in this case, if you want, would like to subtract the values uh, stored in registers X4 and X5 and store the result in X3, we would write sub X3, comma, X4, comma, X5. This is equivalent to a C um, instruction D equals to E minus F, where the value of D would be in register X3, um, uh, value of E would be in register X4 and value of F would be in the register um, X5. The key difference between add and subtract, to you know, just to pay attention to that, um, in addition, addition is a com commutative op operation, so you can store, um, it doesn't matter where you, st where you store the operands um, uh, B and C, um, in which registers you do that, source 1 or source 2, um, they'll anyways be added. In subtraction it matters, you know, because we are subtracting the value of the operand of the source operand 2 from the value of the source operand 1. How, we do, how do we do a little bit more complex um, arithmetic operations? For example, if you have only two um, registers where you can store sources, how do we do addition uh, and subtraction of four um, different operands? Well, we have to use some temporary variables, and here is an example how we would do A equals to B plus C plus D minus C. We we'll would break it up into multiple instructions, so one C command gets broken up into multiple. We would use um, X10 as, in this case, um, a running sum, where we would be accumulating the results. So we would say we'll add the values of X1 and X2, where the values B and C are stored, and store it in X10, then we would add the value of X3 to that temporary um, running sum uh, that is stored in X10, and finally we'll subtract X4 from that value that is stored in, in the register X10, store it back in the, in the register X10, and that is our final answer. 
So things to keep in mind, a single line of um, higher level language like C can break up, can generate when compiled um, to and often will, will uh, compile to multiple um, instructions uh, or several lines of RISC-V assembly code. And um, notice here, uh, as we have seen before, everything that goes after the hash mark um, in, in each line is not being compiled by the compiler. Those are just the comments. A little bit more complex example, um, trying to use multiple temporary variables. So how do we uh, compile this, this line in C, f is equal to g plus h minus the sum of i plus j? Um, the way how that's done, we use intermediate temporary registers, um, x5 and x6. First, we'll add the values of uh, g and h that are stored in registers x20 and x21 right there and then um, we would uh, make another temporary sum of um, x22 and x23 that store the values of i plus j and finally we would subtract them and get the final result in the register x19 and that's it that was the gist of register to register arithmetic instructions we are gonna see a few more different instruction types after the break.